Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlie. I'm glad you're here. Today we're gonna talk about the things I wish I knew before I started college. Whether you're a freshman, just about to start, or you're already in the thick of it and looking for some tips, this video is for you. And I would say without further talking, we jump right into it. First off, let's talk academics. College isn't just high school 2.0. The workload can be very intense and the biggest thing I wish I knew was the importance of managing your time. Procrastination can be your worst enemy. I used to think I could cram the night before, like in high school. Spoiler alert, it doesn't work out pretty well. You need to get yourself a planner, work on your time management, map out your assignments, exams and study sessions. And trust me, attending office hours can be a game changer with your time management. Professors are in the most part there to help you, but you have to take the initiative. They can't look in your head and see what you're struggling with. You have to go to them and tell them what you're struggling with so that they can help you. But the second point I wish I knew before starting college is the social side of college. Everyone says it's the best time of your life, but no one tells you how overwhelming it really can be. FOMO is real when you're in college. I know the best. I live two hours away from college, so I'm also living two hours away from my college friends. And most of the time I'm staying at home, so FOMO hit me a lot of times. But you're basically going to be bombarded with invites to events parties, hangouts, but it's crucial to find your balance and also to find the things you really need to go to, want to go to, so that you have enough time for yourself and your college left. So what I wanted to say is, it's okay to say no sometimes. You need to prioritize your mental health and don't feel pressured to do everything. Your friends will still be there, even if you miss a night out. They don't start to hate you. For the most part, they will understand you. And if they don't, and they make a huge thing out of it, I think they are not the right friends for you. Also, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Even though I said say no a lot of times, if you are a person that is very introverted, it can help to join clubs, go to that random event on campus, strike up a conversation with someone new. College is a great place to meet great people that mostly will be there for a lot of time in your life. So put yourself out there, but find enough balance to still have enough time for your well-being and take your self as a priority. Financial awareness is also a huge part of college. Budgeting is key. College can be super expensive and it's easy to blow through your money if you're not careful and if you don't plan with your money. There are a lot of student discounts on websites, things you can go to, so use them. And I have a budgeting plan on Notion where I put everything that goes off um, my bank account every month so that I know how much money I have to spend in a month, kind of. Go for coffee runs, go out to events, go to lunch with friends and stuff like that. Keep an eye on your money because otherwise it's gonna break your neck. Also, always check out what your college is giving you for free, kind of. For example, textbooks. You don't have to get them new. You can also buy them used. You can rent them or you can get them as free PDFs. Sometimes you can also lend them in a library. So that's also a great thing for you saving money. Mental health is also something that doesn't get talked about enough, but it's so important. College can be stressful and it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Don't be afraid to seek help if you need it. Go to someone you trust and talk to them. Go to your professors. Go to someone you want to talk about it. Most campuses offer free or low-cost consulting services. You can also just talk it out with friends if you feel more confident with that. Bad. And remember, it's okay to take breaks. Your mental well being is just as important as the grades, if not even more important. You need to take care of you and you don't need to burn out for college. It's also just college. And it's okay to have not only A's in college, nobody's perfect. Don't try to figure out everything at once. And if you need help, go and get it and even if it's just talking to a friend please please talk to a friend because the mental health 
part, especially in college, is so, so important. Lastly, I told you a lot about what I wish I knew before college. And basically, I can make a second video out of that because I have still some more touching points, but I don't want to stress you out. But what I want to say for the last part, make the most out of your college experience. It's not just about getting a degree, internships, study abroad programs and networking can all set you up for success after graduation, but you also want to live your life, get involved in things that interest you and start building connections with professors and peers and other people around you. These relationships can open doors to opportunities you might not even know you have. And you also can make a lot of friends out of college, get a lot of huge memories. College is not just about academic stress, it's also about getting new connections and seeing where you want to go in your life and if you like the path you're going towards. So there you have it. The things I wish I knew before starting college. It's an incredible journey, it's full of highs and lows, but with the right mindset and a little preparation, you can make the most out of college and you don't need to feel stressed because as I said, it's just college. If you feel stressed about college or want to have study tips, things like that, I made some videos about it already. I linked them in the eye for you. If there's anything you still want to know, you can comment all questions down below and try to answer them. If you're not comfortable with commenting them down below, you can always write me on my Instagram. I try to answer as fast as possible so that you can get the big questions out of your head. And with that, the video comes to an end. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss a new video. And if you have any more questions, as I said already, write them in the comments down below or you can always reach out to me and ask me more questions if you want them answered. I see you in the next video. Make someone's day this week and we see us. Bye!